What up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you my how to take care of a severe burn guide. First, a little background on this burn for me. The past five days I've been at this warehouse pulling network and fiber cables. This meant that I was way on top of a lift in a 40 foot high ceiling pulling 11 different cables of length 50 feet to 550 feet. The last cable run I pulled was a fiber optic cable run that was 550 feet long. We had this fiber optic cable running through a conduit to make it easier to pull. Then there was a string attached to it similar to a shoelace that we were using to pull it through this conduit. Even with that equipment to make it easier to pull, I still had to use all my muscle to pull it that 550 feet. Instead of using a tool to wrap the string around to help make it easier to pull, I used my hands because we were pressed for time and it was a lot faster for me to use my hands to get the pull done. And because I was using my hands, I got severe burns on my left hand from the string that we were using to pull. So now that you all know the background behind this severe burn I have, I'm going to show you how to take care of said burn. Just a little warning, the next images I'm going to show you may be a little bit graphic. First thing you want to do with a burn like this is wash it thoroughly. You need it to be as clean as possible. It'll sting really bad, but it is very necessary. We'll need three things. Such gauze pads, adhesive tape, and some sort of antibiotic cream. Those three supplies will run you about $10 at your local CVS. First thing you want to do with these supplies is apply some of the antibiotic cream to the burn. Second step in this process is applying the bandage. Take your gauze pads, however many you need to cover it up, and place it so that it covers the entire burn. Use your tape to hold the gauze pads in place. There you have it, a clean, dressed burn. The reason why you want to use the antibiotic cream is to help it heal. And the reason why you want to keep it covered by these gauze pads is to keep the normal, everyday dirt from getting in there and infecting the burn. I hope my how to take care of a severe burn guide helped you all in some way. And I hope that this never happens to you because it's not fun nope not fun wear gloves use a tool and not your hands to help you pull something